At first, Pam Sinecrope thought her knee pain was from overdoing it on the tennis court. I thought, oh, it's just, you know, a typical sports injury. Then she hurt her other knee. And then I injured my left shoulder. Then pain and stiffness in her wrist and fingers that would come and go. Pam was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. So, yeah, I was scared. I thought my life was basically over. So what is rheumatoid arthritis? Um, so this is an autoimmune inflammatory disease. And when we say autoimmune, it's really the immune system at attacking oneself. Dr. John Davis says the joint capsule has a lining of tissue called the synovium. The synovium makes fluid that keeps the joint lubricated. When you have rheumatoid arthritis, your immune system sends antibodies to the synovium and causes inflammation. This causes pain and joint damage, especially in small joints in fingers and hands, but it can affect any joint. So when you find out, you just have to just let go and express your feelings, cry, do whatever you need to do, um, let the emotions out, and then get into problem-solving mode. Well, I call it my own personal yogurt. For Pam, that means controlling what she can. She eats a very healthy diet, researches to learn about RA, and she began treatment fast. The current mantra is so-called treat the target. So we want to initiate a treatment, we would then want to, in a fairly short period of time, measure if it's working and doing something or not. And if not, to begin making changes in a sort of an assertive fashion over time. I'm on methotrexate and low-dose prednisone. Prednisone taken short-term to calm inflammation and methotrexate long-term to keep the RA in control. If those treatments are not enough, they can be combined with what are called biologic treatments. That the majority of people um, with our current techniques and with using combination of medications together get good uh, control and can get back to their usual functions the majority of the time. Dr. Davis says patients like Pam may soon benefit from research at Mayo Clinic that explores new therapies and how a person's genes might tell doctors which medications work best. They're searching for new ways to give each individual patient exactly the care they need. Pam knows RA is a lifelong condition. Flare-ups may happen, and she has to pace herself sometimes. But treatment is working. I feel great. I feel better than I've felt in probably 10 years. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.